Hey, look at what came today. So I'm in stream and now if I open a video that I was recorded and for example, a meeting and there's a transcript here, you can see Copilot is appearing and Copilot can help me to recap the meeting just like it does it in a Teams meeting. But now you have the recording. For example, if you move your recording to a team, you don't have any more the recap tab and so that's a way you can ask still has copilot question about the video the recording of the meeting and you can have a summary and you can click on the summary and it will go directly to to the section where you're talking about the subject that is highlighted and you can ask any question about the meeting it's just me by myself but all the features are demonstrated already in the teams meeting recording you have them here you have some suggestion of what question you can ask and it's now in, available in stream and you can find it here on the right side so what happened if you have a video it, which is my case i have some videos demonstration that i do and you know i store them in microsoft 365 so i think i have one of them here it's a demonstration and what I did is I asked Copara to generate the transcript. It, it takes a few minutes to generate the transcript. And hopefully now I have access to Copara. Not yet. So let's see what I'm missing here. Oh, yes, I have the transcript. So probably going to come in a few seconds. It says, oh, you need the transcript first. So maybe I should refresh because I was while I was shooting this video, I generated the transcript, but basically it was a video and I, I said, you know, generate the transcript and now I have the transcript. So it should be able to analyze the transcript, hopefully. So let's refresh this page just to be sure that it's, it's not bugging because I just generated. Hey, here it is. Now it's not great. I can summarize the video. So let's, let's summarize it and see what this video is about. And I might ask a question, what is this video about? Or what would I learn watching this video? Just like on YouTube, but it's in your environment. It's in Microsoft 365, not, you don't need YouTube anymore. You can have analyze all your videos. So imagine the scenario here, you're providing training for users. If people, you know, it's, I don't know how long this one is, but if people don't want to watch all the video, uh, they can ask what is this video about so here's a summary summary of this video and let me ask what will i learn if i watch this video make a table of the topics and a short description. So again, it's the same thing that you use when you use the copilot for on YouTube, the free copilot, but here it's applied to Microsoft 365, it's secure. You can uh, watch, uh, analyze your videos, your training, your recording, your meetings, whatever it is. It, it, as soon as it's a video and you generate the transcript, don't forget to generate the transcript and oh, the table is not well formatted so they might be might be not uh, totally dry here i will expect to have a nice uh, table here it's not well formed here but i have the content obviously I understood my my request it didn't format it well so apparently there's some bugs still but you know it's it's really beneficial uh, imagine all your training is available and people can you know ask a question about the training and figure out you know what's what they get out of this training you know most of the people don't want to go into a long video because they don't know what it is about if it's gonna be, if it's gonna be beneficial so they can prompt and ask any question about this video and get insights and see if they it's worth watching this video or if they can jump into some some part of the video directly which is the case here so i'm really excited about this new feature copilot don't forget if you have let me see if I can show you how I did that. So let me find another video. So I, as you can see, I use Clipchamp to capture some videos. So I'm, I'm going to try to find if there's another video somewhere. Here it is. So the way um, I do it, I don't know if all my videos have 
you know, uh, if I talk on in, in on my video, but what I what you do, you take your video and you, then you go into where is it again? There should be something about transcript. I don't see it here. Uh, probably because there's no text in this video. It might be just a oh yeah, there's text, so it should be somewhere. Let's uh, let's see video settings. That's where it is. So you go in video settings, you go to transcript, you generate, you select the language, the spoken language. So you know, also for other videos, you can have a gener uh, generated transcript automatically. I don't know if you knew this feature about stream, and it takes it takes some time. I'm gonna pause the videos so just you see at the end the result. But this is a process I just used to uh, show you the previous uh, Copilot querying against a video that was created not in a meeting. And in a meeting, the benefit is the transcripts are generated automatically. Sometimes they're not. If you forget about you know turning on the transcript, you can still go, in, go and do that when in stream. So here I'm going to pause the video, wait for this to be generated, and I'll show you the result. See you then. Welcome back, resuming the recording. So here now the transcripts have been generated. So it looks that I'll be able to use Copilot. So again, you know, I think there's a little lag here. I need to refresh this page just to be sure that I have access to the transcript with Copilot. Apparently, you need to refresh the page. And it should work. Yes, it is. And if I go to the transcript, I can see that the transcripts are here. But this, this needs to refresh to be refreshed. And now I can ask the same question. What will I learn from this video? Or ask whatever question you want to ask about this video. If something is in the transcript, it will be able to tell you what is in the video. If nothing is in the transcript, unfortunately, you won't know much. So sometimes it's not accurate. You know, it, maybe it doesn't apply to all the video, but here I will learn how Copilot can be used to create HR documents and policies in Microsoft 365. It's exactly what this video is about. Hope you enjoyed it and you're excited to start to use Copilot for stream.